Yo, what's up guys? In this video, I'm making a new How to Make a Tycoon series. And I'm gonna say sorry that I haven't uploaded in like a half a year. Um, but I'm back now and I will upload the new series as soon as possible and like these new videos as soon as possible. So the first video will be about making a dropper and with a button and an automatic dropper and also a conveyor. So we're gonna start with a dropper with a button. So first you're gonna create a model. Let's make one really quick. When you made your dropper, you're gonna uh, either group it, doesn't matter, you can change the color, the material, or whatever. Uh, but you get a need, what you're gonna need is this thing. It's, it can be visible, it can be invisible. Uh, as long as it's named, you go here, name it spawner. But you can name it something else, but then you're gonna have to change that in the script too. Name a spawner, and remember to always anchor everything. Everything here needs to be anchored. All right, then we're gonna make a button. So I just copy this like that. And green, smooth plastic. And then we have a button. All right, we have a button now, but it's not gonna do anything. So I'll rename my button. Doesn't really matter what it's named, but yeah. Add a click detector. And inside a click detector, I'll add a script. We're not gonna type anything in the script yet. We're gonna first scroll down to replicated storage. Oh, oops, uh, create a folder that I have to re record by this, by the way. Create a folder inside of here with plus and folder. We name it blocks. And inside of blocks, and we're gonna, you can either make a mesh or use unions. You can, or you can use, use a normal block like I'm doing. So I'm just gonna use a normal block, make it lime green, name it block. Remember this, you always have to keep in mind what they're, what they're named, otherwise you won't be able to like make this really work. The block should never be anchored by the way, but they can't collide, no actually they have to be, they can't collide on. So yeah, blocks and blocks, so these are folders. And also we're gonna make a folding workspace named new blocks, I already have one apparently, yeah. Oh yeah, that was from the last bit, um, last time I tried to record. New blocks, okay. Now we can go into this uh, script here. The first thing I'm gonna do, script, uh, parent, uh, I mean, oh my god, I'm Take local, click detector, equals script of parent. So, this script's parent is click detector. If I move to button, the parent of the script will be button. So, yeah, keep it inside of click detector. Then we're gonna do local spawner equals to uh well we should do we should probably group this now we have to do that the ice name my dropper equals workspace dot dropper dot spawner or you can do script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot dropper I think or something like that then we could do local block equals game dot, dot replicated storage dot blocks dot block now we have the block and let's make a debounce so debounce is just so that we can spam click it so either we do debounce like this debounce like this or we do use db i'll use the db for shorter equals false so now let's do click detector dot mouse click colon connect function and then here we're gonna do uh, if not db, uh, db then local clone we're gonna make a clone now so we're gonna do block clone clone so that we're, we're gonna make a clone in this clone we're gonna clone this part basically using the script and then we're gonna do db equals true and we're gonna do clone dot parent equals workspace dot new blocks remember this folder we made new blocks there all of the new blocks are going to come into uh, will be put inside of this uh, folder so clone dot position equals to spawner dot spawner dot position now let's do wait so this is the time you want to wait before you can click again by the way 
Uh, and let's name this change lock to whatever you name your mesh slash part slash almost that part but <clears throat> mesh dash part that that you want to drop way two and then db equals to true again no false now we've done the click script so let's test it out all right great it works it drops the part but yeah so now we have a click now i can spam it but we still maybe don't want to click it all the time so we might want an automatic one so let's make that not right now what i'm gonna do is control uh, press control d i'll duplicate it and then use move tool move it to the side remove this button all right Name this dropper uh, auto dropper. And then we're gonna scroll down into blocks. I'm gonna I'm gonna duplicate this block and anyway, block two. Change the color doesn't matter really. I just keep my I just keep my white. And then go inside of the auto and uh, go inside of the auto dropper. Get a script and inside of this script. You're gonna type this. Uh, uh, first, we're gonna do the variables, of course. So the spawner is equals to script. Dot. Now let's just do uh, actually it's based on this part. We could actually use the script dot parent dot spawner for this one. Local block equals green dot replicated storage dot block dot block two. Now let's get to the actual scripting. So while true do this is just so it will well it will check if the script is true, then it will do this. Local clone as we did before equals block dot uh, clone clone. We're gonna do clone dot parent equals workspace dot new blocks clone dot position equals and um, sp uh, spawner dot position. I'm getting so lost right now because I'm kind of hurrying. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Then we're gonna do. We're gonna change the color of this block and the name. So let's do clone dot brick color equals brick color dot new. Let's make it really red. Why not? Then let's change the name. Um, dot name equals. What should we do? Red block. And then let's make the time before it will drop it. So let's do, I used to do 0.5. So every half second it will drop this uh, block then. Let's test it out. All right, as we can see it drops um, blocks every second, every half second I mean. But yeah, there's really nothing happening right now. It, it's kind of boring, it just drops and nothing else happens. Then we want it to move somewhere. Let's make that now. First, I'll move mine over here, and then we're gonna make a part. Change the material. I'll use sand. Make it darker. Save it. Scale it. Like that. I'm gonna name mine. I'm here. There. I'm gonna anchor this. Always anchor everything. Make a script. And then type scripts dot parent uh, dot velocity equals vector three dot new, and then you're gonna have to play around with this minus I think it was zero minus ten zero comma minus ten comma zero comma zero. We're gonna have to play around with this, uh, so let's test it. Uh, play here. All right, yeah. It moves the parts, it doesn't matter what, what parts touching it, as long as it's something, it will always push the part. But yeah, there's really nothing happening right now, it just pushes the part and nothing else happens. So, in the next video, we're gonna make a collector and a money collector. So, this will collect the parts, destroy them, and give money. But we're gonna make that in the next video. So, yeah, bye bye.